I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, state health officials say nearly 2 million COVID-19 shots have been given in Nevada. But not everyone who got the shot lives here. Health officials say one possible reason is that a Nevada address isn't required to get the shot, and they don't mind if visitors come here to get the vaccine. Health officials also say Nevada has plenty of shots to go around. Well, fire investigators are looking into what sparked a fire that destroyed part of Scotty's Castle in Death Valley National Park. The National Park Service says a historic garage was destroyed and a shed was damaged this morning. Construction contractors tried to stop the fire from spreading. The main house and other structures were not burned. The Las Vegas Raiders are hoping to pack Allegiant Stadium with fans this season after playing to empty stands last year. Last season, a small number of fans were allowed to attend home games, but owner Mark Davis declined saying that it was all or nothing for him. So Raiders GM Mike Mayock says that getting 65,000 fans inside the stadium is important to the team, but he says state and NFL officials will determine how many fans can actually be there. Danny. We're ending the week on a warm and sunny note. Temperatures jumping back to the mid 80s, really clear skies, but there is a light breeze picking up in the afternoon. It's not necessarily a nuisance wind, so no real weather worries. Just do count on a light wind increasing after lunchtime. Overall, 85 degrees, the forecast high for your Friday with sunshine should be really pleasant and enjoy it because intense gusts return Saturday and Sunday. We're talking 35 up to 40 miles per hour for the mountains. That is definitely a nuisance wind. Our next storm system arrives Monday. That one bringing a 50% storm chance across southern Nevada with breezy and cooler conditions. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.